Tomorrow. Is that a bounty poster? You look like an honest enough feller. If I could interest you in bounty work, the poster's on the wall. Ninety dollars. Let's have a look. Ninety dollar reward for the apprehension or death of Elias Green. <gasps> He's got the butter hat. He's wanted on warrant for murder and mutilation of six settlers near Manz Manzanita Post. He's a member of the Skinner Brothers gang and is considered extremely dangerous. Last seen in the Great Plains area. Let's do it. It's a sorry situation with them mongrel dogs, the Skinner Brothers. This country had been hey, ninety dollars. The guy okay, used to work for three dollars a day, and now we can get paid ninety dollars. Now he looks like a posh bounty hunter, look at him. <laughs> Looking proper dapper now, look at that. Nick120, thank you for 14 months. Nero, thank you for 17. Let's see what we got. Right, we've got the, we'll do the Bounty Hunter, bring it back, and then we'll grab that one. Uh, I generally don't take the Triumph Island, because it costs money. See you next time. Christ, man. What'd you get yourself into? Clean dead. Nugget, nice. I was kind of thinking he might have a treasure map on him or some information about how he died or whatever. Can't believe he lost honor. I ain't got time to give him a proper burial, bro. He doesn't need the nugget now.
Seems like they just left. Jesus. Who do a thing like this? Hello? Not here. Come on, game, let me loot the box. Some fighting going on. Guess that'll do. I wish you could get a better bow. Like in this game, you've just got bow and that's it. And you can't even customize it. Apple Stam, dude, thank you very, very much. $50 gift from Apple Stam, GG. Meow back at you, Apple. Thank you for your support, sir. I don't think you can 
Nick is at his hat. Thank you for 55 months, Apple. It's not that I miss stuff, Baz. I just don't read everything immediately. I like to read it in chunks. So I can get around to it yet. Does Nick mean stealing? Yeah. It's, um... Nick means steal, yeah. If you nick something, you steal it. Thank you, Apple, mate. It said wanted dinner alive, so the game pays up full no matter what. Let's go, girl. Oh, Paul May, I hope you enjoyed Red Dead Redemption 2. I know I sure did. Two $50 gifts, Apple, and a 55 month sub. What a star. Dude, I'm loving this game. It's so good. It's so, so good. I only wish I had time to play the game twice. <laughs> it's it's very enjoyable. I won't forget playing this game. Definitely one of the top 10 games. You do wish we get to see the hang part. I can't do that anymore because I think it would have auto saved. 35. 35, that was eight minutes ago. I don't I don't know if it's gonna show you the hanging part anyway, to be honest. Normally you just put them in jail and that's that. You was gonna give subs, but Twitch won't let you. Why not? You're on your third playthrough, bro. Apple, did you try doing it different ways? When you played it again, did you try a different style of gameplay or did you just want to enjoy the story again? You can stay play from the hanging day or two later. Right. So you can go watch the hanging. Baz, I'm not in any... I could have finished a playthrough a long time ago. I could have smashed the main storyline. It's not difficult. Just riding everywhere like crazy. Can you see the way my horse is running? Its back legs keep stammering and it keeps kind of sliding everywhere. It's behaving very strangely. Skinner, brother. What's left of him? Lias Green. Well, I'll be. Didn't think I'd see this one alive or dead. 
Throw him back out with the rest of the trash, will you? What? Are you serious? Just gonna leave him outside. No matter where you go. What was it you were saying, Warren, about respecting the dead? That man weren't worth spit, but here's what we're paying for him. It was a nasty business up there. Honest work for honest pay. You yep. come back soon, you'll find another poster on that wall. This fledgling community needs your kind. What do you think of the police chief, Whiteland? Do you think he respects the dead? Yeah, I don't, Baz. The fact that I just bought a brand new jacket and it's soaked with blood doesn't really fill me with joy. There's a lot of construction going on around here. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot I know is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost efficient. <sighs> Which house do you want? <laughs> Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, uh -huh, yes, we have that one in stock. No, I, I want to pick. Credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. You write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. You boys give me a minute. <sighs> what are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. This Skinner's about, we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's gonna be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. That guy's beard. Sir? Good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. That guy's beard's epic. I know the quickest way. Follow me. I like that. I left Uncle up there on his own, armed to the teeth. What? You think one guy's going to stand up to the Skinner Brothers because he has loads of guns? Say, is he 
Is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash. Though it's all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait. The, trust me on <laughs> it. You are overthinking it. <laughs> you hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. Yeah, right. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. And I'll just take some snake oil, because I'm sure... Wait, what? There we go. I'm All sure right. there definitely won't be a fight. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I bet you don't. I think you might be. Hey, we're taking the next right up. What's, what, what kind of weapons is this? You were gonna say. People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping exactly wood, what mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Violent. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Acquire some tools, I like that. Acquire. Like I said, Niels is a, an acquired taste. Let me do the talking. How about we shoot him and then take the tools? Working away. <laughs> Speak to a Viking now. Nails, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best Smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any made? Uh, okay. <laughs> like I said, an acquired taste, but okay. a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils. Okay. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, <laughs> let's get moving. He's just like Wyland. Man, a few words. <coughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right then. Features hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, haven't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. There we go. It's all you die. What a surprise. 
I'm really saying we kill these four, but never mind. Uh-oh. Literally kill this gang of second ago. Jeez, look how many there are. Of them? I think so. There's more. They got the tools. They grab Mr. Wayne. All right, you stay here. Guard the wax. Charles, come on. Help! Help me! Over here! They Over got me! Help! Mr. Devin! Mr. Devin! Oh God, there's loads of them again. this guy up in the tree, Get up. Up in the tree. Ah! still up there high in the tree where is this guy you see him oh, yeah. ah! okay let's move he took him down the hill oh god we still can't loot Shetty in the first thing. Wait, what? Charles was abandoned? Nobody abandoned Charles. You're not allowed to flank in this game. You got an invisible bubble, and if you step outside of the bubble, you're considered to have abandoned them. Just trying to get some cover from the hill while I reload. Oh, don't make me do the whole thing again, okay, game. Okay, let's move! He took him on the hill! Come find him, Mr. K. Get him down! He's using him! He's come the right way! They're in our way! Make him a cyclist! I swear to shot like that. He's got a knife! We have more hills for you! Oh, I don't like the sound of that! Come on! It really annoys me the way it doesn't reload the carbine after shooting. And it throws you off so much. I hope so! Because you click to shoot somebody, and instead of it shooting you, it's that person, it then reloads. Like, after a shot, just reload. Hold on, Mr. Wayne! Where'd they take him? Mr. Wayne, we're right here! Keep going. 
Where's Wade? Let's fix these trees. Mr. Wade! Mr. Wade! Can you hear us? Charles, I found the tools. Now, where's Mr. Oh, you'd die. Right. Shit. <laughs> I knew that guy would die. He was spouting off about how good he is at his job. <laughs> Jesus. We gotta move fast. Come on. Let's go. Back to the road. No, it won't let me put the tools down while I loot. No. That's outrageous. He's literally God locked damn. these tools to my arm. A few minutes ago, he was chewing my ear off. He knew what he was getting into. Did he? Let's get it. Everyone knows. That's ridiculous. Except me. Later, John. Are you supposed to get rich when you can't loot, eh? Charles, you all right carrying him? I got it. There's no use in you getting bloody, too. Is he... Is it... Bad? They opened him up pretty good. Uh, nearly chopped his head in two. God damn them. Uh -huh. Mr. Wayne didn't make it. Here, Lord, no. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on, help me. All right. Let's get out of here. I don't really know why they'd nick the tools, if I'm honest, though. Beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this this kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? You're gonna lame these horses. This kind of bloodshed. It's different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Uncle! Uncle! Uh, uh, Uncle! Uh, you useless sack of crap. <laughs> I was keeping guard. Really? <laughs> Ooh. What happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town. I'm gonna pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Uncle's face is red. Sure. If you say so. It's going to like cut now to a hammer and we have to start like building the building. I love you. Don't you forget that. Well, Arthur never got with Mary. I don't know if John's going to get with Abigail. I don't know why they didn't get a choice. I wanted like a four bed um, detached with a pool and I didn't get a single choice. I would have got a big alone and got the pool personally. Did it say bank loan was now $892? I thought it was like on 400. How much debt are we acquiring? Where's the house? We can't even afford a grill. Why has it switched my outfit back, you scumbag game? Seriously, look, it switched my outfit back to cowboy. I did not tell it to do that. It's done it anyway. 
What is my wardrobe? Is it over here? Scumbag game. Can't believe it did that. Look, it didn't even save it. Seems to have access to a lot of coats. Oh, my legendary hunting jacket. Fancy pants. <laughs> We need to make a winter suit because if we have to go into a mission in the cold, I won't have enough clothing for this. Oh, my pirate hat. Right, that's one outfit. We'll pick a pre-built gunslinger or something. We need a kind of outfit for in summer. Do suitable for hot temperatures. Let me save this on the horse. You're getting 40 Celsius in Adelaide in a couple of days. Well, it is summer. Uh, Tom, Christmas schedule is very close to being done. I should have it done by this weekend, I think. I don't understand this. I picked the Heartlands outfit, but I can't store it on the horse. I've got that outfit, which I've put on the horse. But I can't store this one on the horse. Oh, you have to... Cl ah, hang on, hang on, hang on. You have to do it from here. I think. Yeah, you do it from here. Fair enough. Put that on the horse. And then we want a scumbag outfit and a winter outfit. So for winter,
reasonably warm. I don't actually have any boots that protect you from the cold, that's weird. I thought I did. Uh, did you join and get all the Arthur stuff somehow? I think it remembered all the stuff that you effectively discovered, unlocked, and that kind of thing, Baz, so you can just effectively use them. Because it'd be a bit scumbag if all the stuff that you'd... All the stuff that you'd done during your period with Arthur, you, could, you couldn't then use any of that during your period with John. It would be a bit weird. Well, annoying, probably. The way this interface works is so weird. Oof. Save that, I ain't doing that again. Okay, so we should have four outfits. Why is that one not on the horse? It, like, blows my mind how this interface works. Like, what logic is it using? How did they manage to make something that's apparently so simple, so ridiculously unintuitive? Is this the plans for the house? Don't let Uncle build it. Do Those not let Uncle build this. Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Why you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation. 
Which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago, unless you want to dig a six-foot-deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> Should get on with this. Can we not just pay some people to actually assemble the building and not have Uncle anywhere near this? Oh my god, look at this. Oh, that's so good. They managed to cut scene this. That's amazing. Oh, they've got such a sense of humor. gonna be winter by the time we've done this. Well let me have a rule and a saw and a board and I'll cut it. I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. Well we worked so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind whenever. No matter what the weather we're together <laughs> his beard's grown on the side you see that you know he's going to find he's missing a lot of nails and some planks just like any good pre-build If he built this for nine hundred dollars, tell me what Arthur could have done with seven thousand. Now, Uncle Supervising. He could have started Arthur Town. Let me have a rule and a saw. Look at the size of it. Climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail, and I'll nail it. Well, we work so hard to build a little house together. In the snow, or the rain, or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter any weather, we're together. That's epic. You can't just put tiles in random places, John. What are you doing? Everything. <laughs> Let's put lights in and everything. John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. First dibs in the and bedroom. You, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> Dear Abigail, I know you can't read, Hi, but... Darling Abigail, <laughs> I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, 
And I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. few days later see you furfies look at the size of that welcome back Nutto. uncle I thought you was where the hell? Uh oh. Uncle's ripped. That uncle's dead. Hammer the nails in with eighty percent accuracy. <laughs> what? This game. Welcome back, DJ Jeffers. Yeah, it's me again. Right, so two is my winter outfit. Three is my scumbag outfit. That's a nice little summer outfit. This is where we find Uncle's lumbagos become terminal. That is some pad. Nine months. DJ Jeffers, Twitch baby. See the TMP convoy. I'm always asleep. Guys, if you've not applied for the convoy, don't forget to apply. It closes on Sunday. Just one time I hope to find you working. <laughs> Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin, so that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming? Ranching? Planting something? Well, the only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. <laughs> and cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're going to need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. His hair has grown far too long. Look at her. I can't move like I used to. Then I never was that fast. Let's go to the barbers. In the black water. Let's go. Oh, 
Now, this fella probably saw you, thought, here's some corn husk idiot, some country rube doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse. And I'm gonna rob him blind. <laughs> uh, I gotta respect him for it, because if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Dude, we got Thinking a good house. Uh, I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Well, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. Listen, Uncle oh. gets given a free home when he's complaining about lack of furniture. How about he goes out and does some work and pays for it? Buy everyone a bed. I just want Papa Ray. Oh, I love the way they've advanced the building construction. Look at that. Like every time you come back, something else has been constructed. That's so cool. I reckon that's going to be a bank or something. This is him. And he's suspiciously not there. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily? I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? <laughs> we need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Uh, that We're one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it, it's great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. a pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. Wait, what did Uncle actually do in that conversation? How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you, and David Geddes likes now, you. I, but I, this I, man I, is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing, and I'm... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <whistles> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. <whistles> Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. Hang on, we're gonna do scumbag things. You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since the last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. Hard at work. If you could see yourself. Yeah, I look amazing, bro. All right, the painted sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican looking <laughs> fella hanging around. Slow down! What do you mean, slow down? It's not my fault you're running into buildings. What on earth is she actually doing? 
I thought she knew how to ride. <laughs> Sadie, come on. Hey, she's getting old. Cortez is round those parts, split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him, holed up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Sadie! Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Yeah? You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Are they Mexicans? Some, and some Californios, and some regular Americans too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. <laughs> Charming to a fault. Ugh, it's a bad situation out there. Burnings, killings, you name it. Not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild, that country. That ain't much of an advertisement for the place. It isn't somewhere I'd vacation. But it's something to behold. If you're inclined, you should take a look. You know, I had some trouble of my own. Slow it down! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just winding Sadie up okay. something crunk. <laughs> you were saying before. That gang you was talking about? Was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about them. Got hold of this fella I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, oh, the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. Hold your horse there. Oh my god, she's actually useless. Can we go now? Yes, what about Mrs. Squirrel? <laughs> you was about to say that is wise. So. You wanna hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up, and Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie, despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Oh, well then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am! <laughs> Plenty of roses. This is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. Let's get down and take a look. Oh my god. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. I'll... Or if you get him. Literally select weapons, get off a horse, deselects everything. Jaffa King, thank you, 41. Ramon Cortez! We've come for you! Come calmly and no before Ramon Cortez! We've come for you! Ugh, it'll all be over soon! For you, bro. I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. 
Come on, let's get attacked on the way back. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. That hurt. You I've got gold mind. weapons, I just haven't got enough gold. money to configure this one. My it's a slightly better gun. Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll be you good. Better than any bounty. Oh shut up. I'm just about to shoot that guy in the head. Oh man, that's bad for him. Guy in the back gets drowned. Why did they never gag the bounty? So they can come up with some funny comments. This place still gives me the creeps. Hit your horse up here. Around the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Made it, girl. <laughs> There's more to this mission than meets the eye. Come on, I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch. Two hundred, three hundred for her head. Be quiet. Hmm. 300. Mr. Sheriff? <laughs> Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are going to ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> now let's break okay. him out and get $2,000. Okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard him till my boys arrive there and we, we can go. get him out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> come on, there's a, a brilliant plan here. We leave, we come back, we break him out. He gives us 2,000 gold, and then we rearrest him and take him back to the sheriff and be like, we caught him again. Only the second time we bring him back dead. Any minute now that wall's gonna explode and then it's gonna kick off. Oh, Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas. We want our friend back. You have about 10 seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let him have it, boys. Del Lomos. to run. What was it? Come on. That was him being broken jail. out of. The jail. That's what we should have done, blown the wall. It blew my jail apart. He's gone. He's gone. Uh, well, we brought him in. Now, pay us what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to Saint Denis. 
You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Hmm. Mount up. That's annoying. Oh, you got loot. <laughs> you got loot. Yeah, 2k for busting him out. I'd have well had that, Roy. Give him a choice. Why there's nobody else in roads? This is weird. meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. Yeah. We've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. He's got the post Someone office. To talk. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, yes we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. There's no try. It's not a thing, isn't it? We'll take... $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. There you go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. Okay, we're not on one of your jobs, Sadie. I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know. Usually, if I got into who deserved what, second guessed every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Now, I think we stop doing Sadie's bounty hunter jobs and we start Hold getting up. into the uh, Down there. getting Fire. people out of jail jobs. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Yeah. Busting people out of jail sounds Up much here. more fun. Come on. I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. There it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. Easy. Yeah, and the best thing is, Dre, if you get caught, hopefully by then you know loads of people Let's who can get up. you out. So you just build up a, a team of people who are good at breaking people out of jail? They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them? Perhaps. So what do we do now? 
I'm gonna go get them. You. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can tell. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go. You sure about this? It just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. Ooh. And shoot well. Alive? I hate these missions where you're fully zoomed in, it's so annoying. Okay. Can't actually see any more anymore. coming from I thought they were in a camp Cortez! you ain't getting away from here. man she shouts a lot Aim at Roman got his boat and capture him alive. You want to die right now, Cortez? <laughs> I'm going to die anyway. So you really want me to shoot you? You might get lucky in court. Get over here. All right, all right, amigo. I thought I was going to sink the boat. Try anything clever, you're going to get shot. Oh, hold your horses, chica. Get out of there! <laughs> I said, get out of there! Easy, easy, girl! Oh, you gave up easy a long time oh. ago. <sighs> hey, look out. There's more of them coming. Hey! Estoy aquí! Shut your gut down! Oh. Why is it giving us the pistol? They keep coming! Crazy bastards. 
Seems Mexico's a tough place. Wyland, you don't understand what's going on. The game mechanic is that when you shoot, it doesn't reload, so you have to click again before it reloads, and it really upsets your rhythm of shooting people. You'd have to try it to understand what I mean. It's not like click, shoot, and then it reloads for you for the next go, and it just throws you off with the repeater. And with the bolt-action rifle, it's even worse, because, like, you click and fire... And then you point to somebody else, click, and it goes. By that time, they've moved loads. It's really annoying. I still think we can talk to this guy in... Uh like, he will give us 2,000 gold right now if we don't take them back to jail. No, if I walk up there, I'll probably end the mission. So like, 2,000 gold not to take him back you, sounds good. John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. Mm -hmm. Come on. Okay, let's go. It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. Sadie is think, the Cortez? worst rider ever. You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You, you're a dead woman. And you are a dead man. The Delobos will not forgive this. <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you. Anyone who is close to you. I preferred it when you was offering money. Oh, you want money? Hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. But you was just saying you was gonna kill me. No, 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 no. no. Go back go. to the gold bit. I'll forget about all this. Yeah, see, that. Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. <sighs> oh, I'm good Sadie. for it. You're tied up on a horse. About to be taken to San Anita, hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. Five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Because you ain't going to find much use for it in the short time you got left. I oh, damn you, woman. Damn you. Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you. You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're going to come for you. I promise Third you that. Time. We're going to come for you. Well, for you. I hope they know just where to find me, because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fighting, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. Why did that Ramon just turn into like a sarcastic cartoon bad guy? I'm gonna come for you, for you. I've got five thousand dollars. Lasagna and garlic bread before you ask. So what are we going to get paid for this? $200?
is going to get an extra 75 on top of what we were going to be paid. Is that enough to buy a barn? Looks like 